In this video, we'll see how to display the user uh, location on a Google map. So I added a Google map element and a button already. And the first thing you have to do, so I've done it already, but it's create a variable. Here I call I called it user coordinates, which is an array. And you'll understand why I use an array uh, later, but make sure to make it an array. Then click on geolocate me and create a new workflow. The first thing to do is to add the get users location action. And to try it, make sure that in your browser settings, you have the location allowed so that WeWeb can actually gather your, your current location. Then test it. And that's it. You see that I have my latitude and longitude. Nice. Now you will have to use the change variable value. Variable uh, action, sorry. And we'll update the user coordinates. And what we'll do is that because we have only one user to display, we'll replace um, only at a certain index. So what I do is that I will insert at index zero, so the first index, because I don't want, if I repeat the workflow, that the user is added all the time at the bottom of my array. So I do this to replace the whole content of the array all the time. And now I will use the create object um, formula to create an object that WeWeb will use to pass to Google Maps. So I need all the parameters that are expected by the Google Map plugin. So the name of the marker, I'll use my user's name here. Then I need my latitude. Let's call it lat and I can get it from the results of my previous action. So latitude, then longitude. And for the last thing, I need actually to have a custom marker. So I uploaded one on WeWeb's CDN. So it should be oh, in my images. So let's just make, pick it back in my images. So if I add an image element, then I've got my upload, and you see here I have my marker. So I need to, you need to click here to get the link. Now I can remove my image element. Let's go back in my workflow, and here let's add a marker and paste the URL. Okay, now let's test this action. It worked. So now go back on your um, map in the settings. And you see here, you can have multiple markers. So that's why I created an array because markers, they are already, they are always, uh, sorry, uh, multiple, even if you use one. So that's why you need an array. So I will bind it to my user coordinates. And now you just have to map which uh, all the fields basically. So like the name is the name we created, the latitude, the longitude, and the marker. And now every time the user clicks on geolocate me, you should see his location appear. So yeah, mine is here. <laughs> Actually it's pretty accurate. So, and you can see it on the whole map.